Welcome to the Battlefield My Warriors. This is Direction of Legend, and this is my uh, video that I told you guys I would basically tell you the problems that I have with uh, my headset and my Elgato gaming capture clashing. Um, so, my friend explained the problem to me again, because uh, it's been a while since he told me and I kind of forgot. But, um, I wanted to make this video quick so I'm not being going to be able to demonstrate it to you, but I'll be trying to explain it as vividly as I can so you guys can see for yourself if you have the means to. Um, but basically what's going on is um, on the back of the PlayStation 3 um, there's uh, there's an HDMI um, slot on the left. In the middle there's an Ethernet uh, slot and then um, on the right of the Ethernet there is another slot for uh, regular video, you know, like not HDMI, you know, the normal stuff. And um, Apparently, when you plug the Elgato in, you use that slot. Um, on, you plug that um, the uh, Elgato into the back of that slot on the PS3, the normal thing, and it uh, converts it to HDMI. And apparently, you need to plug your headset into that slot, at least the one that I have. Um, and you can't use any other slot, you know. Um, and you need to have it plugged in for the headset to work. So basically, the two are clashing for that reason, and um, and my friend said that um, I'm going to probably need to get a new game capture unless I can find a headset that either um, gets runs off of HDMI, which probably isn't going to happen, you know, there's probably not a headset that gets plugged into HDMI, or one that so just needs the USB in the front of the PlayStation to work. Um, so I wanted to ask you guys an opinion on that. If you know of any headsets that would fit that description, um, as using either HDMI or uh, just USB on the front of the PlayStation 3, um, please let me know so I can get that. If not, then I'm going to need you guys' help on figuring out a new game capture to get. Um, it's going to be a really long time before I can be able to do that though because, um, you know, game captures are pretty expensive. They cost at least a few hundred dollars and I'm already um, on my way to getting the PlayStation 4. I've already pre-ordered it and I still need to uh, earn the money to pay off the rest of the 300 um, so I'm not really really ready to buy a new game capture um, but I want to know uh, what kind of things I could probably look out for when I do um, the first thing I want to ask you guys is what's the difference between um, having an external game capture like the Elgato versus an internal one like uh, the Hophog uh, so to speak it's the only one I really know about because of confound it um, but I want to know the difference between them and if there's any pros and cons to having either or. Um, and I'm not really good with specs either, so if you got, when you guys do tell me what each of them can do and everything, please try to dumb it down because you know I'm pretty stupid when it comes to understanding technology. But I wanted to ask you guys' opinions. If there are any headsets out there that I could take the cheaper route and just get a new headset, please help me with that. Um, if not, then please suggest... Um, uh, new game captures to me, um, and uh, let me know. Uh, let me know which ones you guys use, or which one you think is the best um, to use. Um, something that will something that will be able to remedy the problem um, that I'm having right now with the Elgato. You know, of course it has to it has to remedy the problem. I have to be able to use the recording so, uh, recording um, device and also my headset at the same time. Uh, but anyway, so thanks for your help, guys. Hopefully, I explained it well enough. Um, and, uh, yeah, anyway, if you liked the video, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.